Thanks for joining me. This lecture is actually a combination of a lecture and demo session. I'll refer to it as the Prelude Demo Session. After this session, we will begin the introduction section of training. Once you have JMeter installed, you can go to its bin directory or BIN directory via Windows Explorer and locate several properties files. Some of these files you should never change, but others can be modified to change test behavior. I am only showing their existence. I do not intend to talk in detail here. This information is documented at the Jamie to home site, which will be mentioned shortly. To obtain the JMeter software, you can go to the bin directory and double click on the file named jmeter.bat. Another way is to set up a shortcut on your desktop. Then a double click on it will launch JMeter. When the IDE is available, you will see by default a task plan script element. When we are ready to work with a test plan, we will use the template selection window, which can be opened from the menu bar or from the file pull down menu. When a script is ready, you can use the green arrow icon on the menu bar to launch your script. When it is active, a stop button is available one for gradual stop and the other for immediate stop. There are also two cleanup buttons, one with a single broom and the other with two brooms, which are symbolic for current screen cleanup and the other for clean all. If you have the view result tree listener element open, cleanup targets that output data. This will become clear to you or even clearer to you in subsequent demos. For now, I am closing the IDE. I only want to talk about the test control items at the high level now. Launching script tests can always be done from within the JMeter IDE. However, it is good practice to use the command line version of for starting a test. The reason is that some tests may be defined by the thread group element to be very intense, demanding high memory, I.O., threads, and CPU power. Because of this, the command line version is better for managing res resources. If resources cause your machine to freeze, there is a shutdown command that can possibly resolve the issue. My time has ended for this session. I thank you for yours. Join me in the next video.